In this video, we're going to discuss when to use absolute versus relative URLs. You have to use absolute URLs when you go to a site other than your own. In this example, the words Evergreen Valley College link to some other site, http colon slash slash evc.edu. However, when you're doing links within your own site, you should not use absolute URLs. And here's why you shouldn't. Consider this website. And you would like the words first quarter reports in the reports.html file to link to file q1.html in the sales folder. You can do that with an absolute path name, http colon slash slash example.com slash sales slash q1.html. And that will work. If you want to go back the other direction and have the word sales reports in q1.html go back to reports.html, again, this absolute path name works fine. You can say http colon slash slash example.com slash reports.html. And everything is wonderful until the boss comes in and says, good news everyone, we just opened up a new Western Regional Office. Which means that all the reports information has to go into a new directory called East for the current Eastern Regional Office. Now what happens to your absolute URLs? They break. Because at example.com there's no sales folder there anymore. And from the top level of example.com, there's no reports.html file. So let's try that again with relative path names. In our first example, we want first quarter reports to go from reports.html to q1.html in the sales folder. And the relative path name is sales slash q1.html. And even when we move everything into the East folder, that link will continue to work because starting from where we are now, we just go to sales and then to q1.html. Going back the reverse direction to go from q1.html back to reports, our link is dot dot, which is the relative path name to the directory above us and then in that directory we find reports.html and that link continues to work even when we moved everything into the east directory because we still starting from our current location go up one level and find our destination reports.html and that is why you should use relative path names rather than absolute path names when you're doing your own links within your own website because they're less fragile and you don't have to rewrite everything if you have to move your files from one directory to another.